Okay, this is the last assignment, assignment number seven, which is motion blur, okay? Motion blur is like when you're at the Formula One races or something and someone's taking a photograph and the car is blurred and it just, it makes for something really cool. It's, it's actually quite tough to do, to recreate it here in the classroom, but I'm gonna show you how we're going to do that. Okay, so I'm gonna motion blur uh, Mike here. Uh, let's get something, let's, let's, let's do the Angry Bird, something a little bit bigger, okay? And um, on your, your device, if you, uh, let me turn off live mode here. If you uh, hold the shutter button, it will do a burst. It will, it'll take a lot of photos. Let me just demonstrate that here. Did you hear that? I don't think you, it, it's a very quiet. Um, but anyhow, so if you hold the shutter button, it will just So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take the camera and I'm gonna zoom it across in front of um, our little guy here, our angry bird. So the first thing I gotta do is I gotta make sure I lock the focus. Okay, so the focus is locked because I want him in focus but blurred. Okay, so then I'm gonna swing it over to here. Okay, let me just do it again. Okay, so let's take a look at the photos that we just took. Now, um, I did two sets of it, and you can see right here, they're both just of the corner over here. So if we want to get to the photo, but I can also see, it says up here, burst, nine photos, and uh, this one, it didn't say anything on there. Oops, let me go there. Burst, nine photos, and that looks like it just took one photo. So I've got my nine photos there. So what you want to do is you want to tap on the select button here, and then now it has, you can scroll through the nine photos. Do you see our motion blur of our angry bird right there? So uh, once I get to the angry bird, which is there, I'm gonna tap on that thing and done and keep only one favorite. And now that's my photo. You can just barely see him right there. Okay, I'm gonna get that again. Let's try that. But look at how great he looks. He's all blurred, he's all blurred. That's great, let's try that again. Okay, open up the camera. Okay, I'm gonna just, I wanna be back up a little bit more here. Let's put him right there. Okay, so we're gonna blur right across all of that. So, boom, okay, so I'm gonna tap, lock the focus, start over here. I didn't go that fast this time, I slowed down a little bit. I'm gonna try some different speeds there. Okay, so now, that, so 15 photos, let me go into select here. Let's go through all that. Oh, 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 look at the blurry photo. Boom, done. Save only one photo. That's what I'm looking at. Give me a forced motion blur photo, okay? That's what I'm really looking at for this one. And basically what you're learning how to do is how to use the burst command on, um, on the camera. We're, we're gonna use more in level three when you have a person and suddenly they do something in burst mode then you can kind of blur them and the whole background stays uh, the same. Where this one, we blurred everything. The background's blurred, the Angry Bird's blurred, everything's blurred, uh, but give me one of those photos. So the assignments are, let me see. So two of the uh, same shot, two focuses. One of the, um, the forced uh, bl a blur photo, okay? And then three of the rule of third photos, one of the centered but good photo, two of the high low, so one high, one low, two photos there, one macro, one motion blur, so that's, that's six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. That'll be a total of 11 photos you're gonna turn into me, uh, and let's see how it goes. Level two, we'll be going more into uh, cropping, filters, uh, how to use um, markup, all those type of cool things, so uh, I can't wait to see what you produce uh, here, just sitting at your desk in learning how to use proper mobile photography. Good luck, everyone.